and you made one big play before the final play of the game, and, and then take us to the final play of the game, what your role was in it, what you saw, what you guys made happen, and how fast did you run down to the corner of the end zone? Right. Uh, that last play, we were just in our base defense. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't recall anything that happened. I can't lie. I just remember hitting the quarterback. So whatever I did, you know, hopefully it was good. I'm not really sure what happened, but uh, you know, all I know at the end of the play, you know, we hit the quarterback, ball came free, and at that moment I knew it was game, so I just started running and celebrating. So. Uh, front row, further to the right, Chris. Zach, did you expect this much action in the first two games? And just talk about how tough Army was up front to make those yards pretty tough to come back. Um, honestly, I didn't, but, you know, I was just going to take what I get, you know, as a, also as a running back group. You know, we're just going to go in there and do what we can. And also, you know, their defense is really tough. They run the ball, and they're not afraid to hit, so it's tough defense. Front and center, Bill. Uh, Zach, same with the first half, you guys kind of, the three turnovers uh, with the fumbles was one of the things that happened, obviously. Um, what does this offense need to clean up most over the bye week as you had the, the bigger Big Ten test? Um, you know, there's just a lot of details we need to clean up, and we just got to thank the defense for, you know, stopping them when we had those turnovers and just giving us a chance to come back. All right, additional questions for Zach and Aiden. All the way to the left here, Larry. Both of you, uh, did you know the fake punt was on and can just reflect on how key that call and execution was in this game? Um, yeah, so we called that. You know, we saw the corner coming down. And I don't know, we just saw him wide open, so we called that. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know what happened. <laughs> uh, front row left, John. Aiden, uh, after the field goal, did, you, did the defense say anything to each other? Before going out for that last, uh, that last one, you know, we just saw it as another opportunity. You know, uh, we went out there, tried our hardest to block it. We didn't do it, but they ended up missing it, and that's just another opportunity. And uh, you know, we took advantage of that, as you can see uh, by the score of the game. So, third row here on the left, Arya. Aiden, as a defensive player, was it frustrating at all that the offense turned it over so much, and you guys were constantly having to like be back on the field? No, you know, these are my guys, you know, people struggle sometimes, that's football, that happens all the time, and uh, you just got to keep trusting your brothers to, uh, you know, do their job, and just keep doing what they're doing, and press through, because, you know, football is a game of adversity, you know, this stuff happens all the time, and, um, you know, I trusted our offense to get it done, and they did, so. Back to Chris in the front right. Yeah, now that you've seen it, what's the toughest part of defending this type of an offense? Um, it was just so much different than anything I've seen. You know, last time I played this kind of offense, I was a junior in high school, so it was. Uh, I haven't seen it in a while, but we've we've been preparing, you know, since spring ball for this game, and um, you know, we went out and uh, we just did our thing, and uh, you know, we just treated it just like another game. So, second row on the left, Adam. Hey Zach, you mentioned details that need to be cleaned up. What specifically, <clears throat> especially because this is a new offense, do you guys need to improve uh, before Wisconsin? Um, mostly I'll say it's just some of the blitz pickups. They have a lot of um, corners blitzing, and we just got to adjust to that. Front row left, Steve. Zach, it took you a lot of carries, but you got you got to the 100 yards. Talk about that and also what your view of was of the final play and what your reaction was when you knew the game was over. Um, just do what I can for the team. You know, the offense as a whole, just doing what we can just to get us in the best position to win. And obviously then... At the end of the game, you know, that play was just amazing, just seeing that. Did you, did you get to the end zone as well? <laughs> did, you, did you run to the end zone with, with the defensive players as well? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Front row, left, John. Zach, those fourth quarter, uh, fourth down stops, it looked like they had a lot of room. What did you see on those plays? What did I see? Um, honestly, I was just trying to get the first down. Um, you know, the line was doing what they were supposed to, and I just got to push harder next time. Second row to the right, Austin. Zach, it looked like the offensive game plan was scaled back a little bit from, from last week, a real emphasis on kind of grinding out, out on the ground. How much of that was the plan going in, and how much of that was just kind of adjusting to what Army was showing you? Um, a lot of it, you know, we just had to adjust on the fly. Standing uh, in the back right corner there. Aiden, this is for you. How strong was the sense of determination there on the final possession, knowing that the game was in your hands? Yeah, you know, we knew the game was on the line. The offense kicked their field goal, so 
we knew if they scored, it's game. And uh, I think we all came together, you know, as one unit. As I said before the season started, we're, this is a tight unit. You know, those are my brothers out there. So, uh, you know, we came together and we did what we, what we do. So.